just listen to me. Hello and welcome to the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas speedrunning intro to duping tutorial. Today I will show you the basics of duping in San Andreas so that you can beat the game faster. Uh, so first of all, what is duping? Duping is duplicating a mission, so we skip another mission in the game, thus making the game shorter. We'll use phone calls and side missions to help set up the dupes, and then we will start the duped mission. Two instances of the mission will start, and then when it's complete, and we'll complete it like normal, it will skip over the next mission in the mission chain because it thinks two missions were completed. If you need a better explanation of how duping works or why it works, there is a link in the description that will explain it much better than I can. Also in the description you will find a link to the San Andreas Downgrader, which will downgrade the Steam version or any other version to 1.0, which is what you want for holding calls. Steam version won't hold calls correctly. Uh, console versions, I'm not sure exactly how it works. Uh, but that will help. You'll definitely need that. This tutorial is going to show you the route that I use when I run any percent. Different people use different routes and do different missions. It's not a huge uh, variation, but there is a little bit. Uh, but this will give you the basic idea of how duping works, then you can decide on the route that you want to use. Also, I use a controller, so most of this tutorial will be with controller, but we'll start with keyboard and mouse. The start of duping usually happens at T-Bone Mendez in San Fierro. Uh, duping that mission will skip Mike Torino, so you won't have to go to the airport and pick up Torino. Um, so we'll start there, and I will show you how it works with keyboard first, and then I'll show you controller for that and everything after that. Um, so first things first, if you are using keyboard and mouse, you're going to have to change your key bindings. You're going to want your action on foot button to be the same as your secondary uh, fire in vehicle button. So make sure you change that, and it's got to be something that you can hold while you drive. Um, for this uh, tutorial, I put it as my middle mouse button so you could see it in the uh, keyboard and mouse setup down in the left corner. Uh, but you can put it as whatever is easiest for you or whatever works without changing other key bindings. Uh, so with keyboard and mouse, you'll just grab any car, any vehicle, and take off towards uh, Blood Bowl here in San Fierro. Um, we need to focus on the timing. Use the, the clock in the top right-hand corner, and you're going to wait for a phone call. So you have a phone call that uh, comes every 15 seconds. So it, we get out of the car, it rings. I'm going to shoot the gun. Shooting the gun resets that timer, that 15-second timer. So we look at the time, and we figure out uh, what's 15 seconds from when I shot the gun, and we're going to stand here and wait for that time to come. Right when it comes, walk into the marker, and then hit escape and hold it. Hold escape to pause buffer. Uh, while you're pause buffering, you're listening for the phone to ring. When you hear the phone to ring, you can stop pause buffering and you can start the mission. So as you can see, I can move here before everybody else can move. That means we got it successfully. Um, so what we want now is the timer to run out. So I'm gonna go hide over here. You can go wherever you want. Just make sure you don't hit any of the markers. That's gonna extend the time. So try to hide from the markers and try not to get blown up by other cars. Um, and then we're just going to wait. We're waiting for the timer to run out. Uh, before the timer runs out, you need to hold that button, the, the hold call button, which is action and secondary fire. So you see me hold middle mouse button now before the timer runs out. Uh, the timer runs out. And we're out here. We're still holding the call. So we'll get back in the vehicle and we're going to drive to uh, T-Bone Mendez. You're holding the call the entire time here. As you approach the mission marker here, park to the right, or park near it, uh, you don't have to be right on it, so just get out wherever. You're still holding the call, you're gonna walk into the marker, and once you hear Jizzy start to speak, you're gonna let go of the call. Now just listen to me. So when you let go, you'll see that flash, and then you've successfully duped the mission, and then you're just gonna go complete it like normal here. So let's go through that again with controller, uh, so you can see that way, and get the basic idea of just how it works. So with controller, you're going to do it a little different. You're not going to grab any car. Uh, you want to grab a cop bike or any cop vehicle. Cop bike will be your best bet. Throw them in the garage when you get a chance so you can use them for duping. This is going to allow you to hold the call without looking left out of the car uh, when you drive to the mission uh, by using vigilante. I'll explain that more in a second. 
uh, you can also use Vigilante here to start the timer. Start Vigilante. Once you cancel it, that's going to start the 15-second call timer uh, for the phone call. You can also do that with keyboard and mouse, get out, get back in. That restarts the timer. So uh, I started it about 14 seconds before, and I'm going to walk in and pause the buffer again, just like I did with keyboard and mouse. Same thing here. Uh, moving in the cutscene means it worked. You heard the phone call. Uh, so... I'll do the same. I'll go over and park in the little uh, area that blocks me from everybody else and uh, let the timer run out. As the timer gets close, we're going to hold the call. Uh, LB on an Xbox controller is what's going to hold the call for you, so just hold that before the timer runs out. Continue to hold it uh, to right now. When you get on the bike, you'll see it looks left. Start Vigilante. Once Vigilante is started, you can let go of the uh, hold call button because Vigilante is going to hold it for you. Uh, so now you're just going to drive there like normal. Uh, if you're doing it this way and you have the cop bike, you see the time left timer uh, on the right. That uh, could be a lot lower. If it's like a minute something and you think you're not going to get there in time, uh, what you want to do is stop the bike, get off, uh, hold the call, hold the LB button again, get back on, cancel Vigilante, and then start it up again. That will give you a fresh timer, hopefully enough time to get to the mission. Uh, but for right now, just drive to the mission. Make sure that doesn't uh, run out. And then when you get there, you're actually going to do a similar thing uh, to cancel Vigilante and to re-hold the call. So once you get here, park the bike, get off, phone rings, hold LB, get back on, cancel Vigilante, get back off, walk into the marker. Same thing here. Jizzy starts to speak, let go. It's going to flash like that. You can skip the cutscene. You come back out. You'll notice here the sky is kind of gray, um, and there's going to be no traffic on the road. That's because... The game still thinks we're in the cutscene, so it thinks we're in the interior world. That's why the sky is like that, and there's no uh, cars on the road. So that will make getting to this mission and completing it easier. If you go into the marker and let go of the call too late, um, and you don't get the flash, and you skip the cutscene, and you come outside, and you don't have the interior sky, and you don't, uh, and there is still traffic on the road. Uh, you should have a mission marker right behind you. You just turn around and walk right back into it and start it again. Uh, it didn't really fail, but you won't get this kind of experience with the sky and the cars and stuff. But it will still be duped. Just make sure you walk into it again. Uh, that way, uh, it will start the mission twice and you can continue on at, with the dupe mission. And um, complete the mission as normal and everything will be the same. So as you finish the mission, uh, you'll come to the marker. You did the mission normally. Uh, it will end here. You'll see the marker there will disappear. That means you skipped Mike Torino, which would be the next mission. So you dupe successfully, and you just move on and uh, do the rest of the missions. The next mission we're going to dupe is Torino's Last Flight. Duping this mission is going to skip Yay Kaboom Boom, which is the last mission in San Fierro. Uh, skipping Yay Kaboom Boom is going to skip all the Woozy missions. So there's no need to do any Woozy missions in San Fierro because you skipped this mission. Uh, it's also going to not unlock the bridges to Los Venturas, which could cause a problem with stars, but we're going to take care of that later. Uh, for right now, you're going to do this dupe basically the same. Start Vigilante if you're on a cop bike. Cancel it. I usually cancel it about 14 seconds before I walk into the marker. When I shoot a gun, I usually do that 15 seconds. So just keep an eye on your timer uh, in the top right, your time. And uh, once the phone call is about to ring, you walk into the marker and start pause buffering. Once you hear the phone ring, let go. And you're moving in the cutscene. That means you're good. So now wait it out again. So once again, as the time gets low, you're going to hold the call before the timer runs out. Continue to hold it through the failure of this mission as you go outside. If you're using a controller back on the cop bike, start Vigilante. And now you're going to head back towards the garage. Yeah, 
So this one will be a bit different with uh, when you let go of the phone call and things. Um, once you get down here, keep the phone call held. Uh, if you're on a cop bike, do the same thing as before. Hold the call, cancel vigilante, get off, walk into the marker. Continue to hold the call right now. I usually wait until uh, CJ answers the phone there. I skip the cutscene, then skip the call. Then you're going to have to skip another call. You'll skip two calls there, then you walk back into the marker. The marker will appear again, you walk back into it. And then you can go complete the mission uh, as normal. You'll see there's two helicopters here because we duped the mission. There's also two bikes down at the street. Uh, once you finish this, just do this mission normally. Once it's finished, I usually wait down here where I'm standing. I don't jump up yet, but we're going to jump up there in a second. But they're shooting at you until the mission is over. Once it's passed, they won't shoot at you anymore. Pick up these rockets. Very important you pick up those rockets and this AK. You'll need both of them. Uh, so now you have to take a phone call to unlock the next mission and you can't just go over to Mike Torino's house and wait for the phone call there uh, because you're going to have four stars when you go over there since we didn't unlock the bridges. So if you have phone calls stacked up here, just take phone calls until you see the um, question mark on the mini-map. Once you see the question mark, then you can go. So there it is. Now we're going to take this helicopter over to uh, Torino's place and do Monster. And Monster is going to be with four stars. Because like I said, the bridges are still blocked off. You're not supposed to be in this area of the game yet. So it thinks. Although the missions are continuing, it still is set up that you're not supposed to be over here yet. Uh, we will do something to get rid of the stars later. But for right now, with this route, it's easier to just go do monster with four stars and then worry about zero star glitch later. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is you can go just start the mission right away. It's in the front of the house. I'm going to save a few times to try to change the weather because monster is difficult in the rain. Since you have to go on grass and go up mountains and things. Uh, saving is not really going to help you from the stars here. But it will change the weather. And then just run and start monster normally okay so as you can see the stars are still there you're gonna have to deal with these guys during this uh, but it's not too bad it's not too hard you should be fine just go through it like normal um, the one thing that's different from uh, an old duping route an old non duping route is we used to get the uh, homing missiles while on monster you don't need those now they were for interdiction we're going to skip interdiction so you don't need to get those uh, this is where you would normally get them at but we just keep going uh, everything else here is just the same so just complete monster and then we will move on uh, to zero star glitch and some other things All right, so after you're done, you're going to death warp. Uh, usually when I death warp, I try to run back towards the road just to make sure I get transferred or tra transported back to San Fierro, not anywhere else, uh, any small town anywhere. So I run over here, and you have a ton of rockets. You have 120 rockets you picked up off the helipad. So just shoot the ground and kill yourself. Now, when you respawn at the hospital, you're still going to have your weapons because by using Blood Bowl as a setup for duping, 
this gives us the opportunity to keep our weapons when we die. Not sure why that works or how it works, but you have that free death warp there. Uh, so as you can see on the splits, it says Torino call. So we answer that phone call right there, right away when it rings. Uh, that's going to unlock the next mission. Um, and then after we do that, we're going to go buy Zero's place. We're not going to do any of the Zero missions. The only reason we're buying it is so we can get a phone call. Uh, once you buy it, there will be a 15-second phone call of Zero calling you to tell you to come by and check out the shop. Um, but we're only going to use that so we can dupe things. Once it's bought, now what you want to do is go do driving school. Uh, driving school is obviously not necessary in any percent, but you're going to do it. You're going to do some of the missions. The first three is what I usually do. Get gold on the first three um, driving school missions. That will raise your um, driving skill to the point that you can start 8-track uh, in Los Santos, and you'll need that for the gang territory skip later in the game. If you're not going to skip gang territories, you don't need to do this. Uh, if you are, then go ahead and start it. And like I said, you might be able to get away with just the first two, but you have to gold uh, each one. You get the driving skill increase with gold. So you see in the top left, the driving skill went up. Um, so I usually do three just to be on the safe side. And that will usually be enough driving skill to be able to complete a track. But you have to get gold on all three. So once that's done, you can back out and you can leave. Now we are going to do the zero star glitch. I would suggest, especially in the beginning, going and saving before starting this. Once you do the zero star glitch and it's active, you can't uh, load saves. And if you fail this, you'll want to be able to load the save and, and uh, start right back from here. So go and save the game. Don't answer that phone call. Shoot the gun to skip phone calls or try to get into a car and that will also skip a phone call. So you'll use that a lot for duping uh, because you need to hold the hold on to the phone calls until you need them. So uh, grab a cop bike here. Even if you're on uh, keyboard and mouse, you're going to want to grab a cop bike here or any police vehicle. Cop bike is always the best. All right, so I'm starting Vigilante, canceling it uh, so I can get the time right here. Wait outside the marker. Once the time is right, I'm going to walk into the marker pause buffer. Listen for the phone call. There's the phone call, so uh, get out of that. I, can, I like to back up while I'm skipping the cutscene there so I can head this direction. Then we just wait this out again. As it gets close, hold the call. Same thing as before. Now we're going to take the bike to the airport. It's very important you don't get a wanted level here because you're going to need to use the phone call at the airport. Uh, so when you get this area, you're going to go right. You're going to go up the, uh, the hill here. And we're going to take the plane uh, from this airport to the LS airport. So you want to get off the cop bike. And you'll see the timer. You have 59 seconds left to return to the police vehicle. Uh, you want to cancel that call. Cancel it by shooting the gun. If there are cops around, I suggest not shooting the gun. I walked towards that red car and tried to get in. That allowed uh, me to skip the call without shooting the gun. Switch to your AK-47 before you walk into the marker. So I switched to the AK. I walked into the yellow marker. We're at this screen now. So you can see it still has the thing about vigilante at the bottom. And also we have a phone call ringing. Uh, when the phone call rings, you're going to hold it. You're going to hold the button to hold the call. 
and you're going to wait for the time to kind of get down. Uh, at any point before about 10 seconds, you can hit A, or you can skip, you can, you can select uh, whatever to go ahead and start this mission, whatever button it is for you. Start the flight. At four seconds, you're going to skip the flight. So at four, skip the flight. And then as it's landing, you're going to get out, get out of the plane. And then you're going to start shooting the plane with the AK. Shoot it until it blows up. I think you only have to shoot it until you see the black smoke, but I shoot it until it blows up to be sure. Uh, rockets and stuff don't work for this. Just use the AK. Just do it this way. So once the plane blows up, we're still holding the call throughout all this while we're shooting um, and uh, doing the rest. So now the plane is blown up. We're going to run over here to this plane, and we're going to go fly to hijack. Um, the reason that works, uh, w because when you're on the plane on that flight, you can't get a wanted level. So blowing up the plane there the way we did makes the game think we're always on the flight. The flight never completed. So anytime we get a wanted level, it's just taken away immediately. Um, that's the zero star glitch. So once that's done, and you can do it in different directions. You can go to different airports that are unlocked. Um, but right now, what we're doing is taking this plane to hijack while we have the call held. So as you can see, LB is still being held, which is a pain to fly the plane when you do that. Um, if you're using keyboard and mouse, you don't have this struggle. But if you're using a controller, you do. But you have to keep the call held. If you let go of it, you won't be able to do hijack, and you'll have to go do interdiction, which is uh, not fun, especially because we didn't get the uh, homing missiles during Monster. So as you can see, I've been uh, flying towards this question mark on the map. It's Torino's house. When we get there, I'm going to get close to the ground. I'm going to jump out. Now I'm going to walk uh, to the front of the marker. And I'm going to very slowly enter the front. I don't want CJ to walk out during the cutscene. But I slowly just enter the front. Call still held. The cutscene starts. I'm still holding the call. I'm going to let go whenever Torino hey, does hey, this. Fuck, when Torino touches... CJ and says hey Carl let go then I slowly start skipping the call I press the end call button the skip call button slowly it'll eventually start a second cutscene once that second cutscene starts you can skip it and then it, everything's duped as you can see there's a second Caesar there's a second motorcycle second Caesar's car uh, be careful there Caesar's car spawning on top of the other Caesar's car will make it flip catch on fire it could blow up your motorcycle and it could blow up uh, and kill you and Caesar so, because the bridges are blocked, we have to go all the way around. We can't take the normal route to hijack. So, this is the only bridge here that you can get across easily. Uh, there's two ways to do this. This is the way I do it. I just ride on the barrier here all the way until we get over the water. Then I jump down. You can also uh, pass, this, pass this part and just go all the way to the barrier. And then turn and jump over um, the, the edge right here onto the grass it's whatever you want to do if you're comfortable with that do that i'm more comfortable with this because i've had issues jumping over the other way but once you get down here you're across you're back into the san fierro area and now your goal is to just get back to the truck the hijack truck um in san fierro so take whatever route you want here it's up to you how you want to do it i take this one But it does take a while to get from uh, Torino's house to the hijack truck because of the roads being blocked. But it still saves time since we're skipping interdiction. Stay to the left here. You'll see the barrier right there. And just complete hijack like normal. You have no cars on the road, so it should be easier this way. Okay, so once that's done, 
Uh, you don't need to bother saving here unless you're low on health. You can't load a save and you can't die. Once you do the zero star glitch, if you load a save or you die, you lose the zero star glitch and you'll have to do it again or it's rip run. Um, so now uh, you're going to go back to Blood Bowl to set up the next dupe. You're going to dupe Verdant Meadows. That's going to skip NOE. A lot of people hate NOE, which is after flight school. Um, so this is a good dupe for most people. Uh, you, the phone call you're using is the phone call that unlocks the marker for the next mission. But the marker's still there, it's just invisible. So you can just use this phone call and still be able to walk into the marker. So you won't, don't take the phone call. And you'll still, uh, be able to start the next mission without having the question mark on your screen. Uh, same thing as all the times before here. You're waiting until the phone call is about to ring. You walk into the marker. As you walk in, you pause buffer. Wait for the phone call. Let go. Start the uh, mission. As the time gets low, hold the call like before. Hold the call through the mission fail. Uh, back on your bike or back in your vehicle. And we're going to head towards the boat from Photo Opportunity. And we're going to take that to Torino's house. So as you can see here, if you're using controller and you're using a cop bike, the time left timer is a lot lower uh, than it was before. So I'm going to show you how to uh, fix that. I'll stop right here. Um, I'll grab this armor because it's close. This is not necessary. Uh, hold the call, get back on the bike, cancel Vigilante, start it back up. So now you got a fresh timer, 343. This will give us plenty of time now to get over there because when we get to Caesar's boat, uh, we want Vigilante to fail, or we get to the boat for a photo opportunity, we want Vigilante to fail um, once we get near the, the marker. So here starts the timer at the boat for the uh, minute to get back onto a police vehicle, onto a cop bike, into any police vehicle. So we're gonna take this boat and uh, go across here. Rocks will be in the water that you need to watch out for. Uh, by going in the water here, I canceled the next phone call. So now it's going to be 15 seconds before the phone rings again. But we're going to run over here. And we're going to wait. Whenever you have the phone call, you're going to hold it. So you don't have to hold it on the first ring. It doesn't matter. Just don't let it cancel itself. Uh, hold it. You're going to wait for Vigilante to fail. Don't walk into the marker yet. The marker is going to be right at the bottom of the stairs there. You can see like the little brown rock right here, right in front of me. I'm going to slowly walk towards that while holding the call with Vigilante failed. So it starts up. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? I'll let a couple lines go by there. Then I'll let go and I'll start skipping the call again slowly like I did before. Then we get the double cutscene. Then we get, uh, then we're outside. So it duped and it skipped NOE. So now we are good to go start flight school. The next dupe you'll encounter is uh, Fish in a Barrel. You will finish the meat business, and then you're going to head to the quarry instead of to the Four Dragons Casino to start the mission. So you got to go to quarry first to set up the dupe. Uh, duping Fish in a Barrel is going to skip uh, Freefall, which is a pretty long mission, so uh, this will save you a lot of time since Fish in a Barrel is only a cutscene mission. Um... When going to the quarry, I suggest taking a car, not a bike. Uh, you have a one-minute phone call that's going to come in that if you're on a bike and you fall off on the way there, the phone call is going to ring, and then you got to wait a whole extra minute for it to come in. So if you take a car, uh, there's no real chance of uh, messing up the phone call. So when you get there, we're going to do it kind of a little different than we've done the other ones where we uh, shoot a gun or something and then wait 15 seconds and walk into the marker. This, we will get right out of the car into the uh, marker. 
since it is a minute long phone call and the marker's right outside. So pull up next to it like this and you're gonna get out and let CJ shut the door then start pause buffering. Listen for the call like before. Once you hear it, you can go ahead. Now you'll throw a satchel on the uh, bulldozer here. And you're going to have to run to the highway to get a car. All the cars that were here will despawn. So you have a minute uh, for the phone to ring again. This is another place where you probably want to get a car so you don't fall off and reset the timer uh, of the phone call. So now drive back to the Four Dragons Casino. All right, once you get here, you should have, uh, the phone call should ring when you get out. Hold the uh, answer call button and walk inside. You're gonna detonate the satchel inside the casino. So make sure you have the, uh, the detonator uh, selected. Walk to where the marker normally is here in front of the door, kind of in the middle. And while you're still holding the call, detonate the satchel. The guy's probably going to shoot at you, so make sure you don't have low health. Let go of the call in the cutscene. It's going to uh, go twice. And uh, then it's duped and it's over. That's it. The next dupe is Black Project. Uh, this will be after Stowaway. You can see on the splits I have Stowaway check time. That means when you're doing Stowaway, you want to be sure that when you complete it, it's going to be between 20 and 6, or you can get back to the airfield between 20 and 6 after setting up the dupe so you can start the mission because you can't save. Um, so when you land here at Stowaway, drive to Quarry. And you're going to do the same thing where you park the car and get out. This is a 15 second phone call, so you don't have to wait as long. Uh, here, you don't actually don't have to pause buffer. So just pull up where you're going to end up in the marker and get out of the car. So you hear the phone call ring as the quarry mission is starting. You don't have to throw a satchel here either. You can just run now. Or you're going to run to the crop duster that uh, has a fixed spawn over here next to a house. While you're running, you can answer this phone call. There is a way that when you run out of stamina, you kind of jump answer the phone call, and that will give you your stamina back. So you can wait for that, wait for CJ to start running slow. I'm not very good at it, so I don't think I got it very well. Uh, but he'll at least give you a little bit of stamina back, and you can keep running. But you're going to get to the crop duster, and you're going to fly to uh, the airfield to start Black Project. You can see where it says delivery. Uh, with a timer counting down that's that doesn't matter you can just ignore that that's gonna go it's gonna run out while you're doing the mission so you can just ignore that be careful not to fly over the military base here Once you get to the airfield, you're going to just jump out uh, like normal, fly low, jump out. The phone will ring again. You can shoot a gun to skip it. Run into the marker to start the mission. Uh, once the mission starts, you'll see the armor there. Uh, you can run and pick up the armor, and you'll notice it'll still be there because there's two there. So you can get the other one on the way out, but that's... Uh, Black Project duping. It's successfully duped. And it skips Green Goo. Uh, the next dupe you'll do is towards the end of the game. After Minigun Hype, you get all the Minigun ammo you need. You don't need a whole lot. 
because you're going to skip gang territories, but you will need some because you're going to do Los Desperados twice later on. But uh, Homecoming Duke can be kind of complicated, and there's a few things to it. It actually, the effects last over two different missions, so uh, just be prepared for that. But once you leave Minigun Hype, get in the Hydra, and you're going to fly to Trucking. When you get to Trucking, if you park too close, the Hydra will despawn. I like to park um, towards the highway over here on the other side of this uh, electrical tower on the side of the road over here. I've never had the plane despawn here, but you can park it uh, somewhere else. You can mess around with that if you want. So you have a phone call, 15 second phone call. Um, you're going to shoot the gun. I shot at 11.05, so I know that at 11.20 is when the phone's going to ring. And I can walk into the marker. Um, a note about phone calls. Only take the phone calls you need throughout the game. If you don't need to take a phone call, if I didn't say take this phone call here. Um, or you d don't need it to to start a mission. Don't take it because you'll need to save the phone calls. If you don't save the right phone calls, you won't be able to dupe and you'll be out of luck. So make sure you're not answering too many phone calls throughout the game. All right, so throw a satchel on the truck just like you did at Quarry. Run back to your Hydra. You're going to fly to Mad Dog's Mansion. Be careful here because trees can pop up out of anywhere. And you can land the Hydra uh, near the road in kind of the field area. Or um, you can land it in the driveway. Uh, either way, whichever you want to do. You're going to run to... Uh, the door area up here where the marker usually is and you have the phone ringing you want to hold the phone call and then you're going to detonate the satchel wait for trucking to fail once it fails walk into where the marker would be it's there you just can't see it homecoming will happen skip the cutscene you're continuing to hold the call while you skip the cutscene then when you get to this part you can let go of the call and uh, answer it and skip it once you do that run back up here and you're going to run back into the marker that's still invisible Now you'll see you got two cars there, so the mission's been duped. You can leave and go get sweet now. From this point on, the mission is uh, pretty much normal. So just finish this mission like you normally would, and then there's more to it at the start of the next mission. All right, once the mission ends, you're going to start the next mission right here. When you start it, there are going to be two sweets. Sweet is going to be duped. You have to kill one of them. Kill the one furthest away from you. Uh, if you let them talk, you'll notice one moves his hands. That's the one that you want to keep alive. Kill the other one. It'll take a lot of minigun ammo, <laughs> but he'll eventually die. Uh, and then you're going to go with the real sweet. Uh, to finish this mission. You'll finish this mission like normal until the end. Then something else will happen. So from here until the end, just do the mission as you normally would.
Okay, once you finish killing all the ballas here, uh, you're going to have to kill the ones outside of the house. Uh, when you do that, you'll notice the Infernus that's there okay. is duped. Uh, when you kill these guys, the red arrow will stay. Uh, just kill everybody until it says uh, go confront beat up. And when you do that, it's very important that you don't skip the cutscene right away. It has to play for a second. Say so. Hey, hey. Say so. Hey, hey. No. so when it, he says say something, it will dupe. And when it says say something again, then you skip. But don't skip right away or else you'll fail. So let it let it play and then uh, skip the cutscene after it dupes. Okay, the final big dupe skip in this game is the gang territory skip or end of the line skip. Uh, after Riot, when you get done with Riot, go inside and save. Uh, in case you mess something up here, you can just reload the save. This one can be difficult, so you might have to do that. Um, but from there, just run over to the stadium. And you'll have this phone call ringing. This is a 15-second phone call, so you can shoot the gun to reset the timer whenever you want. So right around 5.50, I did it. Uh, you're going to walk up to this marker. This is why you did driving school before, so that you can start uh, use this setup to start. Uh, the marker is very big, so be careful. What I'm doing here is I'm holding the call first. This is more of a controller strat. Hold the call first, then walk into the marker and pause the buffer. Uh, I don't think you need to do this with keyboard and mouse, but with controller we do this. So I'm holding the call the entire time here. I'm going to run over. I'm going to pull out the minigun. I'm going to destroy the car instead of waiting for the timer to expire. So we got mission failed. We also have a star. I like to switch to uh, a non-weapon here so I don't get shot at by the police when I'm running back to Grove Street. But I'm holding the call the entire time from before I walked into the marker until now. Um, I'm going to Sweet's house. We're going to start Los Desperados. What I'll do here is I'll walk into the marker. And I'm going to skip the cutscenes with the call held. At this point is when I let go. When CJ's standing outside, I let go and um, skip the call. And we're going to get in the car here. And we're going to recruit these homies. Uh, this can be an issue here. Because you have to go through uh, the city when it's in riot mode. And you got to go through the baller's turf to get to the marker. And there's a chance that the homies will jump out here. And you have to have them with you to start this mission. So, because we skipped Grove for Life, we don't have the closer territory to get the homies. So, uh, the drive is necessary. Take the route along the railroad tracks here. This will be the safest one, but they will still jump out. If they do, what you want to do is get out, disband them, disband them both, then recruit them again. Hopefully, if it's in this area, they'll get stuck in between these walls and they won't run too far and you can do that. Uh, if not, you might have to go find other ones if they run away or get shot or something like that. Uh, but if they stay in, if you're lucky like this, just drive right into the marker right here. The phone call will ring here. Definitely don't answer it during any of this. Uh, pull out your minigun and complete most of this mission like normal. I'll tell you what to do towards the end that's going to be different. Uh, what you want to do here that's important before you finish the mission, if you haven't done it already, is kill your homies. Make sure you kill both of your Grove Street guys. Don't kill any of Caesar's guys. Just make sure your guys die. Then, at this point, you're going to kill everybody but one person. Save one of the final two guys over here. It doesn't matter which one. The guys that are creeping like that, just save one of them. Kill everybody else. You're going to run up to the last guy alive, and you're going to throw a satchel on him. I usually throw two on there to be safe. Make sure it sticks to him. You see it sticking in the air like that, it means it's stuck to him. So if he moves, the satchel's going with him. Um, so now you're going to drive back to Grove Street. You have the satchel on that guy. You're going to detonate it to end the mission uh, when you get back here. Uh, certain things can go wrong. I've had that guy die randomly, and that will fail the dupe. So you got to get back to the Grove and uh, do the rest of this for the mission to be successful. The next part is the most complicated part of all this duping. A lot will happen in a short amount of time. I'll try to quickly go over it. Uh, and I'll go over it twice so you don't miss anything. 
But when you get back here, you're going to get out of the car. The phone call is going to ring. When the phone rings, you're going to hold it. You're going to hold the answer button. Once you hold the answer button, you're going to uh, walk into the door and you're going to detonate the satchel. So detonate the satchel right as you're walking in. Once you're in here, let go of the phone call. It's going to allow you to move. You can walk right back out the door. You're going to run over here. You're going to get your shotgun out. You're going to aim it, and you're going to walk into the area where the marker would be. When you hear him say, good luck, my friend, after that, you need to shoot the shotgun twice and then let go of the aiming. And that is going to put you in the marker at the exact right time that you need to start the mission. If you don't do it at the right time, it's going to fail. It's gonna, you're going to either dupe the mission, which is not what you want to happen. You want to be able to do this mission again. You want to be able to start it again. Um, but you have to have the timing right. That's why we use the shotgun. Okay, so let me show you one more time. And let me try to explain everything again. So you're going to pull up to Grove Street. You're going to get out. The phone is going to ring. You're going to hold the phone call. Then you're going to walk towards the door at CJ's house. You're going to detonate the satchel right as you're about to walk inside. So phone call held. You're walking in. Satchel detonated. You get inside. When you get inside, you'll the last dialogue from the mission will start. Let go of the phone. Move around. Turn around and leave the house. Run over to the front of Sweet's house and pull the shotgun out. So cycle through your weapons so you see CZ holding the shotgun. Don't walk into where the marker would be without the shotgun held or else that won't that will fail the mission. So when you get into the area where it will be, wait for the last the last word. My friend, shoot twice. The timing has to be right. You have to shoot twice and you have to let go of the aiming so it triggers the mission. If you do it correctly, everything will look normal. The sky will be normal. Everything will look like you're just starting the mission for the first time. So if you do it wrong, you'll have a dupe sky or you'll have a black screen or something like that. You'll know you messed up if it doesn't look like normal. If you if it looks like normal, you did it right, go complete the mission again. Okay, so now we're back to the second instance. This is us doing Los Desperados again. Once you do uh, the successful shotgun shot and the mission starts again, you got to do everything over again. So recruit your homies and head over there. You can recruit homies there on Grove Street. You can also recruit them in this area. After this, you're probably not going to find any because it's mostly ballers area. So head back over there along the railroad tracks. And just do the mission like normal. Now you're going to kill everybody at the end, but just do the mission like normal. Okay, so you went through the whole thing again. You're back at this part. Last time you left a guy alive. This time you'll just kill everybody. So you're completing the mission like normal. And all that dialogue you heard before when you were back at Grove Street, you'll hear again, and you'll see the regular cutscene. And now it's going to just throw you into the middle of the final mission, end of the line. You're going to skip the whole first part and end up at the, at the checkpoint that you would end up at if you died during the second part of end of the line. So there it is. If you had a homie alive still, he'll be there with you. And now uh, you're just going to complete this part like normal. Uh, it's pretty much the same until the end. At the very end of this, uh, of the crack palace, you're going to have something weird happen uh, where something could go wrong. But for the most part, you're pretty much done here. All right, so here you are at the end. As you go through here, this will be different than normal because of uh, the gang territory skip you did. Uh, you're going to go through that door, then you're going to fall like this. 
Uh, there could be, if there's a baller standing beneath you, there's a good chance you get stuck in him. And then you might be screwed. You can try to pause buffer to get out. But normally you'll land on the ground, run towards the front where I ran. That will trigger this cutscene. Once this cutscene starts, it's done. You're fine. Um, what's going to happen is it'll go to the next part where you have to chase Tenpenny with Sweet hanging on the back of the fire truck. There is a chance that there you get a, a prolonged black screen uh, right here. If that happens, just hit the skip call button a few times slowly. And uh, that should start the mission, start the next uh, cutscene, which will lead to the end of this mission. So then you just complete this like normal. Make sure you catch Sweet because, uh, you know, don't want to drop him. Uh, that will be bad after all this duping. But you do have uh, checkpoints even with all the dupes. You can go back to Sweet House start. You'd start right there. Uh, but that's it. That's the duping tutorial. Hopefully it helped. Uh, hopefully you learned something. I'm sure I forgot a ton of stuff. I probably didn't explain some stuff you've seen other people do, but this is kind of just an introduction to give you an idea of how it works. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments, or you can come by a live stream on Twitch and ask whenever I'm streaming. Hopefully I will help you or somebody else in the chat will. But that's it. Good luck. Good luck with your dupes. I hope you get the world record one day, and uh, have fun.